Hey folks, Alan Mandic, Mandic Really here, and I have a budget upgrade for my streaming setup that I am loving. I mounted my camera to my desk, cheaper than a multi-mount from Elgato, stronger than that, and more versatile. So let's check it out. So first, let's talk about what it is that I have been using up to this point. Then I'm going to show you the multifunction setup that I added here that I love. There'll be timestamps down below. So if you just want to jump ahead to the new configuration, you can go ahead and do that for yourself. Now I have my own small video production company here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I've been using some of my equipment from that for my streaming setups to this point. The camera that I've been primarily using as my webcam is my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And while it's a beautiful image that comes out of that, the way I've had to use it to this point has been a little problematic. So what I've been doing to this point was I've been putting it on a tripod off to the left of me out in the middle of no man's land, which means that my viewers are getting a heavy side profile view of me, which makes me feel like I'm not engaging with them nearly the way I should. Should be. I'm not talking to them like this. I'm talking to a screen and they're just kind of seeing me. That makes me feel disconnected from them. So I can only imagine it makes the, them feel the same way about me. But the other problem with that is, well, quite simply, I am a bird man. I have a freaking beak and my side profile is not my most flattering angle. So I would really like to move my camera set up in front of me. Now, the other problem that the tripod setup had for me is I have an electric standing desk and I love this thing. I've been finding lately that when I'm game streaming, I like to stand while I stream because I feel like I keep my energy levels up and I can engage with people better when I'm doing that. When I sit down, I start to get a little complacent and tired. And when I'm doing 3D design work or I'm video editing, I need to be able to sit for those long hours. But if I wanna stream, that means I need to change the tripod configuration for whatever type of streaming I wanna do and that's really annoying. It takes up a fair amount of space in my office. So clearly for me, I need something that's gonna move with my desk. It's gonna move with me, depending on what I'm streaming or in the middle of a stream, I could decide to sit down if I wanted to. The obvious answer is the Elgato multi-mount. And I've seen great reviews of that product, but I just didn't feel like it was the right answer for me. One, it's hard to come by. I can't find it in stock most of the time, but I end up trying to look for it. And two, I'm running a larger camera setup and I see a lot of people running. You know, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera isn't a heavy camera, but it's also not the lightest and it's by no means the smallest setup. I'm also running a triple monitor setup on my desk here for video editing purposes. So that is a lot of height that I need to clear to get up over that and get a camera view of my face. Now what I'm running back there is such an obvious thing that I wish I had thought of it, but I cannot claim to have. I actually saw this on Twitter via Epos Box. Adam, he posted a picture of somebody else running this type of setup and it just instantly clicked with me that that was so silly of me not to have come up with it sooner. So what is this setup? It is a $40 monitor mount off of Amazon for clamping to your desk. I cannot believe that I didn't come up with this sooner because it is what is mounting the three monitors to my desk right now. I run one single double tall arm on this desk that has three monitors mounted to it. It's obvious. It can handle those three monitors. Of course it can handle a camera. I considered maybe adding another arm to my existing monitor mount, but I decided I wanted to add another arm so I could move it into different configurations and different locations if I wanted to. Now you can order this in various configurations. You can get double armed ones. You can get short length ones that aren't as tall as the one that I got. I got the double height one because I needed to clear over top of the monitors that I have here. And I only got a single arm off of it because all I'm personally worried about mounting to it is the camera itself. This is the configuration that I ended up with. I have the two tube tall clamped to the backside of my desk, which I had a good butcher block top desk. So I have tons of strong material to clamp to. I put a couple of the cable management clips that do come with this thing right onto it so I can tie up my HDMI cable and my power cable to my camera out of the way cleanly. And I actually broke down the monitor arm that sticks off of it, which was double long to just a single arm. So it had less leverage hanging off of the side of it. And it's all I need for the configuration that I'm running. For the camera setup that I'm running, I could put a simple ball head on there and I may well do that down the road. But for right now, I just mounted an older Benro tripod head that I have onto it. I had to use a single quarter inch bolt and a three eighths to quarter inch bushing adapter inside the base of the tripod head. And then I just used the existing hole in the monitor arm and that was all it took to go ahead and mount that on there. Oh, and a couple of washers because the bolt was just a little long, but you could get a shorter bolt. I just happen to have that bolt in my office. 
Now that tripod head from Benro does allow for a lot of versatility in my adjustment and it's strong enough that I can usually leave the adjustment points a little loose so I can reach up and adjust the camera and not have to tighten anything either. That is nice, but the only real reason that I used it is, well, two reasons. One, I had it, so I didn't have to go out and buy anything. And two, it allows me to take that camera off of there and put it directly onto the tripod I'm shooting on right now, onto a monopod. I've got three separate Benro products that all use that same quick release plate that I can switch between. Even my Mozilla, I just said Mozilla, didn't I? My Moza Air 2 gimbal uses a very, very similar plate. So I can take my camera off of that mount and just immediately put it onto my other support systems. This is handy because I'm still gonna use that camera in my videography business. I don't want it to be permanently set up here on my desk and have to break it down every time I need access to it. You could easily set this up with a simple ball head. You could also get a little silly with this configuration and do some other things. If you got some spigots, you could go ahead and mount a light to this thing. Maybe if you got the double armed version, you could have a light on one side and your camera on the other side. I could also see maybe mounting a microphone boom arm like this one here to the other side of that mount if you wanted to mount, say, a shotgun microphone like this one up here onto that to use for your audio source. I'm absolutely loving this. I've only had it set up for a little bit now, but I have a much better angle on myself. It's a very sturdy mount. It moves with my desk. It is so good. I can reach back behind the monitor and adjust things as I need to, except for camera settings. That's kind of a pain, but that's a black magic. That's not this mount's problem. Thank you so much to Adam Epos Vox and whoever he got the idea from. Like, it's killer. I love this and I wish I would have done this sooner. I'm gonna throw some affiliate links in the description down below. If you wanna pick up those items, I'll get a little kickback for it, but it won't cost you anything more. I would appreciate it. At first I was just gonna post this on Instagram, but then I thought this deserves its own dedicated video. It has to be seen so people can get this idea into their own heads. I love it that much. So if you found this video interesting, please go ahead and drop it a like. It really helps out. Let me know in the comments down below, are you gonna use this configuration? Have you been using this configuration? Do you have something else you like better? Let me know in the comments down below. Go ahead and get subscribed to keep up to date with all the creator, maker, and technology content that I make on this channel. Thanks for coming around, folks. Oh, and twitch.tv slash manicreally if you want to see your streams. Thanks.